In this demo, we're going to look at a custom pipeline component. This is part of the SDK, the software development kit that comes with BizTalk. So if you go to Program Files, Microsoft BizTalk Server 2006, you'll find the SDK directory full of samples. Under Samples, you'll see Pipelines, and then there are about eight or nine pipelines here to look at. The one we're going to demonstrate is called Custom Component. And the concept of this is it's actually going to fix messages that come in incorrect. And so if we look at their sample data here, well, they actually just have a file that has the word and in it, okay? It's kind of an oversimplified example. So to run this, generally what we can do is just run the setup program, and that will actually compile and deploy and basically get everything ready to go for your custom component. So it's a good idea, by the way, to sometimes open the setup program and see what steps it follows so that when you write your own custom component, you follow the same steps. So it took uh, about 20, 30 seconds to compile and deploy, and now it's actually building ports to demonstrate the system. And so it's calling various scripts that actually create these ports on your computer. Okay, so we're done. And now let's go actually take a look at what new ports it created. So we're going to go to BizTalk Admin Console. We'll start by going to Applications and doing a refresh. And then you can see here all the applications, and there's one called Custom Component Application. And if we expand it, look at the Receive Ports, Receive Location. So you can see here, this is where we're going to drop our file is actually in the directory where we were. There's a file called Pipelines Custom Component In. And if we go to the Send Ports, you'll see similarly there is a file called Pipelines Custom Component Out. So back to our illustration here. Um, they do have a cleanup program. Let's see what it does. Oh, oh, this is when you're done. Okay, the setup deploys everything, and this is like the undeploy, the opposite of the setup program. To actually run this, what we will do, I think, is we'll copy this input file, and we'll paste it in the input directory. If we go there, we'll see BizTalk has already picked up the file, and then we go to the output directory, and you see that it created a file, and it basically changed the words inside that file. I know that's not that exciting, but the concept is the power of what it can do. So now let's look deeper into this. Let's look at the code they wrote to do that. So here is a thing, a project, a solution called Fix Message. And we're going to open that in Visual Studio. Start by looking at the Fix Message C Sharp program. And also there's one called Fix Message Stream. So it says here a sample of how to write a custom pipeline component. If we scroll down, the important thing is always to see what gets inherited here. So in C Sharp, a colon after public class fixed message. The colon means you're going to be inheriting from this class called base custom type descriptor. And then also you're implementing an interface called iBase component and iComponent and iPersist property bag and iComponent GUI. So there's a, a GUI, a user interface aspect of this, because pipeline components, as we saw in prior demos, when you build a pipeline, they have properties. And so you need a GUI component to basically add and read and write properties out of this little window down here, which is actually kind of cool. So you can see that since there's so many interfaces to implement, this is not a trivial task. So creating your own component uh, could easily be a one day to five day or even a 10 day ordeal. And so that's why we're just going to be using the, the demos they've given us rather than write our own custom components in this video. So we're not even going to look at all the code. We'll just kind of open a couple of these. The iPersist property bag has to do with getting variables, I think, in and out of the properties window. So here you're going to read the property bag and get a variable called append data and prepend data. So when we saw the word and, I believe what they did is they put the append data after the word and and the prepend data before the word and. 
So just to show you that, here's their little file. Let's copy it and let's call it input Neil demo. And we're going to open that file and we're going to put here, you know, this this is the words not this. These are the words that Neil typed. Okay, and we're going to take that file and we're going to copy it and paste it in the input directory. And we're going to go to the output directory. You see how fast it ran. And now we're going to look at this file. And here are, these are the words that Neil typed in. And notice it puts data in front of that and it puts data after that. So the next question we'll try to figure out in just a few minutes is wh where do they put the words here that come before and after the data that I typed in? Okay, so again this project is basically the pipeline. There was also something here called fixed message stream. We have our prepend data and append data. And here's a public integer read. It's reading through the data. And here it says if prepend is not equal to null, and then basically here's where they're starting to prepend and postpend the data. is in this little loop right here. Okay, so the next step is, let's close this. And what we'll do is now open the other project. So that was the pipeline itself, was called Fix Message. Now, to illustrate the pipeline, they also wrote a, a little solution here that uses uh, a pipeline. So here's two pipelines, and here's the solution. So we'll open this solution, and you see over here, here are the two pipelines. So let's grab the receive pipeline. So I went to the toolbox. I didn't see the uh, new pipeline component here, so I did a right-click, choose items, and that's a very slow process. When you say right-click choose items, it often takes uh, one to three minutes for that little window to pop up. So I'm going to pause the video until that pops up. Okay, the window finally appeared. And in the last video, or prior video, we looked at functoids. Well, now we're going to look here at BizTalk pipeline components. And so here you get a list of all the pipeline components that are available. And you'll notice the one they just created was called Fix Message. And it's not checked yet. So if we check it and then click OK, you can see it now appears over here. And so they also had to provide the resource or icon file to be able to get that little wrench symbol right there. And so you can see this Fix Message component has been already dropped here on the validate shape. And so when we click it, that takes us to the little property window over here. And here is your words for prepend data and you notice append data there are no words right there so it says here data to prepend and receive pipeline so when we looked at our output a few minutes ago it says data to preprint prepend in the receive pipeline and those words are stuck in front of the words that I typed and then the second is a send pipeline so if we open the send pipeline now There's also a fixed message component, and here it says data to append in the send pipeline. And that's therefore the words that appear right here. So the whole point of this is that basically you do have access to the message that's received, and you could actually fix it. So for instance, if somebody sends you data that's, uh, well, I won't say not, well, maybe not well formed, it's kind of hard to fix that. But let's suppose it was very common for people to send you a country of USA instead of US and you wanted to see US for the country code so you could actually grab the data look at it and then actually fix it before it actually goes into your BizTalk maps and such and so this does give you a tremendous amount of power um, the questions would be is it easier to do it in a map or is it easier to do it in a pipeline and so a lot of considerations would go into choosing where you'd want to do this type of work but uh, one reason I guess they call it fixed message is someone sent you data that was uh, maybe not well-formed XML, then you could actually fix it and turn it into well-formed XML before it goes into your BizTalk map. Because if it's not regular XML, then the map won't work correctly. Some other common uses of custom pipelines would be, and we have many others actually in the SDK here, 
but one of them is a uh, PGP or a zip unzip. So if people are sending you large messages like 100 megabytes, they could actually zip them or use PGP encryption and shrink the files down and encrypt them and then you could have a PGP and that's pretty good privacy I believe is the name of that you could have a PGP decryptor and encryptor as your message is received or sent so what we've been looking at here is the is the sample in the SDK called custom component and it's called fixed message and again we're just kinda introducing you to this we're not giving you a full tutorial on that because that would be a whole CD just on this topic and there are many other examples here for you to uh, look at in your time in the time where you really are interested in doing a custom component